at the Walmart in good old Bristol, Tennessee. I'm gonna run in here this morning and see what kind of good stuff they might have on the shelves. Let's get started here at the Walmart this morning. I already peeked through the collector section and nothing different back there. Just kinda hoping they might have had black and white, black Ronin or Scarlet Spider back there and they didn't have either one of them, but that's all right. Uh, one thing I did pick up back there that we're gonna give a try, five bucks, we're gonna give that a try. Hey, what this thing do? Bobby to start. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, I got my little guys here. Bobby to start. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we got. Oh, they got the new Mutant Mayhem figures. There's a wing nut. Gang gets he's right there too. And rock steady dra super fly on dragonfly Lord have mercy who are the new ones in this do they have on the back scumbug i don't think i've seen a scumbug yet maybe mondo gecko uh there's mondo gecko so we might stage us up a picture here with some of these i hope we don't throw them on the floor Let's see who else we got up here. Rock steady. Who was the other one we didn't think we'd seen? Uh, super, oh, super fly. Scumbug. So, we have a bunch of these things. I don't know if I want to dig through them all. These all look, look they're just the turtles, but yep. We got some new mutant mayhem this morning. I look behind these yeah still never watched this movie just looking at the figures i don't much think i want to watch it to be honest I'm not trying to be mean to the film just it doesn't look like my cup of tea i'm used to i'm used to these <laughs> yeah those are my these are my turtles so maybe skipping that we still got the same older wave of legends those have not moved at all from this store. I still wonder if we're gonna have our Nightfall Batman back there. They still got Rose and Tarantula. We may try to price those again just to see what they are. You can see what they got here in Legends, Strucker, Wasp, Egghead, and you know, the previous couple of ways. That's probably a zombie Iron Man in it. That's zombie Scarlet Witch. Uh, we got our usual complement of dinosaurs, I assume. Uh, got our invisible jets and our Batmobiles. There's one Nightfall Batman. Let's see how many others we got. We'll start up here. You got Duke Thomas. There's a Nightfall. So we're up to two. Bunch of bat wings. There's another Nightfall. So three. And then bat wings. So I had the new. I kind of thought I might see the new wave here this morning. Oh, let's go up down here and see what's behind these. Somebody hiding a G.I. Joe back there. Yep, there's a shipwreck hiding out right back there. Fat Man, Donna Troy, Donna Troy. There's that Raven. So yeah, that's like nothing sexy and exciting enough. They still got at least three. They had five last week. Of course, the other ones were oh, right there. They are. <laughs> Four and five is still up there. So still five Nightfall Batman here. I guess the trend for that one has passed. People's either got it or they don't want it. There's the new Ahsoka Star Wars figures. They seem to be hitting in mass quantities everywhere. Oh, what do we got here? Any chases in those? What's this one? Nope. Uh, HK87, that's what it was there. There's Cassian Andor. Another Cassian Ando. Can we get, oh, Lando's jumping, he's trying to jump off the shelves. Like, please, please buy me. No one is buying me. I lost my MTV thing. There it is. Oh, this is AWCM Punk. Let's see if it is. Kenny Omega, Kenny, Kenny Omega's. No CM Punk. There's a trench coat warrior. Ah, some more of these guys. 
Oh, who they got in the hanging? Look at the new ones here. Ezra. Ezra. Man, there are Ezra's everywhere. Bunch of Boba's there still as well. Who we got down here in Ultimates? Got Austin with the Rock Ruthless Aggressions. Rob Van Dam. Is this the place we saw these last week? I don't remember. Rob Van Dam and Ray Mysterio. Still no Booker T. Uh, you got an Austin. Hang on, a bunch of Austins. There's MVP. There's a Brock Lesnar. A Reigns. Another trench coat warrior. A Rock. And then an RVD. So, pretty good compliment of WWE Ultimates this morning. Oh, who's the lone AEW up here? Trent. Those are Lady J's. Looked at them last week. And uh, Chuck Taylor's Trent. MJF. That one Walmart had that new Jericho figure. That's the only new AEW I've seen pretty much in forever. Older there. There's some Series 91, 1104 Dakota Kai. Oh, what else we got down through here? Let's see if we got any new retro cards. Baroness, Gung Ho, Lady J. Rock and roll, and then we got a shipwreck buried up there behind the multiverse. So I guess not a bad compliment of the recent releases. Actually, old releases have been out for a while, haven't they? Oh, look at Donkey Kong. <laughs> Donkey Kong's cool. Yeah, I love Donkey Kong. I'm going to take a picture there because I need something for the thumbnail. I can't remember where I took pictures of. I think I got pictures of those Mutant Mayhem figures. Uh, Pokemon stuff, but the usual compliment. Let's just see if we got any sales going on in Lego. Hey, they got Marvel minifigures. Those seem to be getting restocked right now. Hey, man, Ant Man is down 24 bucks. Oh, he's down five. I was thinking he was 32.97. I wish they marked down Cap and Wolverine. I've got the Batman. I picked him up at Best Buy. A little bit of a reduced price. There's a rollback on Harry Potter. Curses. Oh, you done below his office. Yeah, down man, 80 bucks to 64. That's not bad. I mean, it's expensive, don't get me wrong, but it's a good markdown if it's something that you want. Parakeet and Birdhouse is marked down. As I'm filming, this is Kelly's birthday. I should buy her that. Actually, I think I was going to buy it. Was I going to buy that for Christmas or her birthday last year? <laughs> I can't remember. I wasn't recording on her birthday last year, so it was probably. I don't know when it was. Time's getting away from me. 20 on those. Got the max. Alright, guys. Let's walk over here and take a look at some die casts. See what we got. This Walmart's got good stock again, but not really much different than last week. Uh, I got some Speed Champions still over there. Sonic X shots. There's little things there. There's a, koala, a formal koala. Uh oh, journey's getting louder the more I get over here, so. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we got a bunch of these. Let's see what we got. Hormel Chili. I meant to do some research last night on the chases of those. and I'm not going to lie. I forgot. I got that tri-window coupe back there. And those things. The Coca-Cola cars. I don't see any of the Christmas-themed cars. There's Knight Rider. A whole bunch of them. Jay Leno's Garage. Been a while since I've seen those things. Uh, let's get my, my MTV. Let's see. I gotta do like, I don't know how many hours of OSHA 30 online training today, so. <laughs> it's only 94 pieces, it's not gonna take that long, but. Probably put that together. Oh, that's playing. Is that an El Camino or a Ranchero? That's pretty cool. Don't see anything real sexy and exciting here in the Hot Wheels. They got the gold Batmobile. This thing. Huh. That's kind of cool. Anyways, I think we're going to walk up and check the clearance section. We don't have any. I just want to hop those in, Cap. 
Uh, we don't have any stop boxes or anything out here to nose through. So I think that's going to do it for the toy section, guys. We're going to head up. We're going to check collectors, see what we got. Not collectors, but uh, clearance. If I do see anything good on clearance, I will show it to you. If I don't, then I'll see you at the next stop. All right, had to come over here for a little thing for work and found a new Ross dress for this. So let's head into this one and see what they got. Apparently they had not been up in very long. So maybe they sent the good stuff here to try to get some sales for a new store. Hmm? Okay, new Ross store. Let's see if we're going to have any different results. Uh, there's a Fortnite down here. Let's see what we got. Red links. Nothing else back in there. There's another one. Renegade Shadow. What else back in here? See a three Joker multiverse back in there. Let's see what else we got. Let's, let's start up top first. Be easier to sort through. We got a bunch of turtles. There's Raph, two Mikeys, and a Donnie. It's all of those but Leo. That's pretty cool. We got a big table of toys over behind us as well. We will look at what's behind this stuff. Let's slide that out. And a little bit more. Move the Fortnite gun. There's the inloader. Okay, doesn't appear to be anything back there. Bigfoot 4x4. That's kind of cool. Uh, Roblox. Sorry guys, I know you're getting an up close look again, but it's kind of hard to maneuver some of the stuff in here the way it's all kind of piled in. I did see some new multiverse in the Bristol Ross today, but I couldn't film. It was a little packed, but they had the Frost King wave. It's one reason I didn't really care about filming it. We've seen it a thousand times. Ollie's is getting those as well. There's a Power Ranger stuck in there. All right, third shelf. Not seeing any Joes so far. Unless they got them over on the table. There's Vulcan. Six ninety nine. Oh, good to put the camera on you. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, Dino's back in there. Sonic. Sonic and Knuckles, Halo. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like anything on this shelf. There's that He Man stuff. Back there's Blue Marvel hiding out. So they got some legends and stuff. They're all shut in the back of the shelves. Um, Okay, we're going to have to make sure my shirt tail is covering my butt here when we bend down. Oh, let's start looking down here. Roblox, there's one of those Power Ranger swords. We'll check both of these at the same time. Oh, make it a little bit easier on ourselves. Oh, there we go. Lightsaber. <laughs> we have found one. Scooters. Yeah, a bunch of Roblox. Looks like this is going to be unproductive from the G.I. Joe. We're down now to the multiverse fig we saw. Well, that sucks. What do we got down here on the racks? There's a Loki hanging back there. They at least have the retro core Loki. No G.I. Joe, though. At least so far. That's just art stuff. Dog toys over there. Got some more miscellaneous over here. The Transformer. That's kind of looking... Let's see what we got. I got these Hot Wheel RC things. 
Oh, it's a lot of gear. He's saying what is it? Fleet. There's Eternals. Spider Man stuff. What mission fleet we got? Slave One. Sonic. Well, they still got some stuff over here. Maybe there's still hope. Still a bunch of my Hero Academia stuff. Anime. Bunch of Sun K pops. There's a little Cornish thing. Power Rangers. Here's another. Oh, look here. A Platinum Robin. The artist proof for $5.99. Hmm. There's a Origin Bumblebee in boxes tour. That's kind of cool. Looks like the classic Bumble. Transformers. I don't know what kind of pops they got here. That looks like the Dead Strange. Get Mommy, to it. Yep, yeah, boys, zombie army. My bad. Can you come back over here? Robin, Roblox. What's the legacy figure here? Um, we got some big plushies behind us. So that's probably going to be sort of my taste. The coolest thing right there. But we're going to look up front so we can find anything. Dig some more through here. If I do find anything, I'll show it. If not, then I'll see you at the next one. Walmart. And the wind is blowing, so you probably can't hear me very well. But we're going to go on this Walmart, and we're going to see what they got. If I don't get ran over first, because there's a lot of traffic. So let's go. Well, this is one of those deals where the 20 dollars are split. So let's check out what's down there in a second. But still got a bunch of flash figs here. Supergirl. I didn't see her very much as far as when those figures were actually popular, but uh, it's like old superpowers. I do have the Batmobile and the Visible Jet and also still got the wing and the, I wonder if that's clearance here, it's still full price. A um, bunch of black lightnings, no green lantern. The Captain Adams, Cyclone, Cyclone, Blue Beetle. And Batfleck. And Batfleck. Oh man, would it be, not be cool if they had a Keaton? Batfleck. All Batfleck. A whole bunch of Batfleck. Um, Black Adam up there. So some more superpowers. Vehicles. There's Dr. Fate. Awkward Man. What do we got down here? Superman. The Dark father build a figure wave so we got some dinos can't get down to the marvel legends right now There's power rangers all kinds of older motu doesn't look like they have a lot of current stock but honestly snake eyes this may have been a Best of a trip. Um, regular old stuff. We see nothing else hiding up top. We want to look at There's Donkey Kong. We do have Donkey Kong. There's Cannon. We're just going to take a shot of that. Cause we're going to need some pictures for you guessed it, the thumbnail. Hopefully, this video does better than the one I just posted. The one I just posted is sucking right now. <laughs> what do we got up there? The Fallen and Smudge. We got any Studio 86 down here? Doesn't look like it. Uh, who's this? Armada Universe Starscream. Hmm, that's kind of cool. Mutant Mayhem, none of the newer ones. We got Baxters and Genghis and Wingnuts. Movie Turtles, a bunch of Baxters back there. Let's check our legends. Crossfire. Here we go. Iron Man King. Strucker. Okay. Now we 
27. Do you have enough to get one big? This big one. Cut down to this little aisle. Here's Star Wars. Look at Ogre and Speeder Bucks. Uh, what is this? What is that? Harry Potter. I don't know if I've seen that before. Let's put it back up where it was. What do we got here? What's this? Obi Wan's Starfighter. Luke Skywalker's X Wing. Darth Vader's TIE Fighter Advance. Darth Vader's TIE Fighter Advance. And Darth Vader's TIE Fighter Advanced. Oh, what else we got? Micro Galaxy Squadron got that thing with the red fin on it. All the way back through there. Got Ahsoka, Ezra, Boba Fett's, Lando's. And then got the Imperial Shuttle and the Razor Crest. Got some screaming children. That's always wonderful. But there is the Jericho. Stuff that looks like a scan of your events, Neil or Kyle Peterson. Anna J, Anna J, Anna Rose. There's Ray with an awesome cruiserweight belt. Uh, Bam Bam Bigelow. Oh, do they have blue shoes? Nope. Hey, Piper. We don't see Piper all that much. And Bam Bam. Um, Ultimate Alexa. Two of those. Who's the one here? Three of those. And don't see anything else. Hiding up top. Well, there is stuff up there, but nothing we'll look at. Uh, let's go find some die casts. If I see anything there, I'll show it to you. If not, I'll see it in collectors. If nothing in either section, then I'll see you in the next one. Well, I got off the interstate to find something to eat, and I found an Ollie's I didn't know existed. <laughs> so let's run in here and see what they got. You might have to voice over in here. I don't know. That music sounds pretty loud. But let's see what we got here. They are going to be Snake Eyes movie figs. All of those are. There's some Lady J back in there. Uh, Lady J's movie figs. Lady J. Uh, they got the headmaster things here. These are also they're nine ninety nine. They got who? Chrome Dome, Autobot Brainstorm, and Mind Wipe. I'm thinking those are showing up at Ross too so for a little bit better price. I haven't found the big hordes of toys. I've been seeing it. All these stores. This one may not have all that. I haven't seen that before either. Animated looking pack. Kylo and Ray. Chewbacca, Chewbacca. Uh, what have we got over here? Those little Batman three and three quarters. Johnny Lightnings. Eternal stuff. There's some Age of the Apocalypse Magneto. There's the Ronin figures. Here's some controller wave and Pet Zoot Harade, whatever his name is. That's a good figure. That's a nice Iron Man, too. Madam Hydra, Speedbone, Eternal. Uh, so far, guys, yeah, I'm not seeing much outside of what we usually see. They did have some Ghostbusters down there. There's nothing down out of aisles, but I didn't film. They got hand ninjas. There's this here in this box. Mordo, you got the widows there. Hand ninjas, there's two of them at least. I haven't seen those in quite a while. Legion. It looks like the hand ninjas are definitely going to be the winner at this one. As far as things we haven't seen in a little bit, but we have seen them before. J. Jonah. There is X-Men, Age of the Apocalypse Wave, another hand ninja back in there. Age of the Apocalypse, Darwin's Groot, and Thor. Well, let's go try to find some more stuff. If there's anything, I'll show it to you. If not, that might be it. Who knows? All right, the sun is in my eyes. I think I have the camera pointed at Ollie's, but we're getting ready to go in Ollie's in beautiful Bluefield, Virginia. So let's run in here and let's see what they got. 
here we go voiceover time music was really really loud so we're going to do a voiceover they had a bunch of those right there that little figure wave of gi joe and storm shadow and duke and uh, snake eyes you'll see those several times in this video but we're just checking things out seeing what they got there's more of those joes and we're getting into some star wars now there's han and chewie I thought that was a Kong, Godzilla vs. Kong figure, but it's just a generic version of Kong. All kinds of Fortnite, and of course that got my spider sense tingling, hoping they might have the Fortnite snake eyes. So you'll see me slow down on a lot of Fortnite stuff just to kind of see what it was. A bunch of Mission Fleet Star Wars stuff there. And there's one of many cases of G.I. Joe snake eyes movie figs that I find. I'm telling you, at the end of the world, everybody, you're going to have Twinkies cockroaches and snake eyes movie figs from G.I. Joe Classified because they don't seem to be moving anywhere. What do we got over here? Again, this is really not anything we like to collect, but you never know. Whatever time they get something in, they find the first bare spot on the shelf they can find to stick stuff, so you gotta check it out. Let's see what legends we got there. Is Raw Black Panther Wave. Oh, what else we got? Just looking in behind the shelf. Sorry for smushing the camera up against the front of the shelf here, but it's kind of tight quarters in this store. Had to compromise to be able to see what's back in behind everything. That Apache helicopter kit model kit there was very cool. That Snake Eyes model kit there. I picked that one up. I got to put that together one of these days. Got some His Tanks, Coronation Starscream. Got some more Fortnite stuff coming up. There is one thing I have really come close to buying several times is that boat. I never have bought it. You know, I looked at it again here in a second. I found another box of them. Uh, they had the Brutus figure there. That's a cool Fortnite figure. I picked that one up as well. And we're just seeing what's in the boxes. In case there's a box of Snake Eyes. I was checking that one. It was more boats. What else we got through here? Got the little Rattler sets there. G.I. Joe. I think those are Mega Blocks. And I saw the Marvel there. I was just checking out what it was. Make sure it wasn't any kind of Marvel Legends or anything. But it was those. Uh, let's see, there's more G.I. Joe figs, and we're checking them out. Spoiler alert, they're G.I. Joe Snake Eyes movie figures. I think I found two or three cases of them in this little section. I'm telling you, those things are everywhere. And we're putting it back because we're being responsible and cleaning our messes up. Those are some more of those big figs there, G.I. Joe. There we got a Rachel Crest. More his tanks. We got some D and D down there. Some more Fortnite. More Fortnite. So of course we're looking behind all that Fortnite to see if we can see a Snake Eyes. That little Spider-Man thing there look cool. And there's Thanos. I do have that Thanos. That's a cool figure. Usual compliment of Legends. That Captain Carter there is, looks great. I'd almost tempted to get another one of those just to have one to open. But didn't see anything different on the Legends uh, front. Just the, the regular stuff we've been seeing in all the other Ollie stores. But Well, now I say that. I take it back. They did have the controller wave here. I haven't seen that one a whole lot of Ollie's, but I have seen it there. I actually picked most of that wave that I wanted up from uh, Burlington. And the good thing in Burlington, they're $7.99 a piece for the $9.99 a piece at Ollie's. So you save a couple of bucks. Now that right there got me most excited more than anything in this store. They had a case of Zorana. Most of the time when you have Zorana, you got Dusty and Crimson Guard with her. But sadly, Zorana's all they had. They had no Dusty. They had no Crimson Guard. I was really hoping to find those $5 Crimson Guard figures. But Honestly, that and Fortnite Snake Eyes, that's why I came in to all these stores I did in this video was hopefully trying to find those things. All right, let's take a few more looks around here. We are nearing the end of this section of the video. We're just checking a few more little loose ends here to make sure we didn't overlook anything. I appreciate you tolerating my voiceover. Hopefully it sounds all right. Like I said, I use a very old headset because I have yet to buy a new one. That's on my short list of things to buy one of these. They did have Legion. I don't know if you saw them down in the bottom corner before I moved the camera. The Age of Apocalypse Legion figure. But that was cool. I don't always see that one. Uh, we're just moving down, checking stuff here. We're, video's about to end. When I look at the little trucks, it's going to be over. All right, guys, we're going to check the back corner one more time, and then we're going to wrap this one up. I'll see you at the next section. Walmart, Bluefield, West Virginia. Don't get to this one very much, but used to hunt it all the time. I think I've said that several times before, so let's just shut up and go in here see what they got. 
see what we got. I had to stand here for a second for people to clear out. They don't have snarl. They just have sludge. I didn't look there. But we haven't checked anything out yet. So let's see what else we can find in here. We got a pretty good size selection of transformers. That's really stocked. I don't know if it's anything new or older stuff, but got a good stock of it. And the newer stuff. Graph. Bebop. Superfly. I don't see the scumbugs or any of that stuff. What have we got here? Wingnut and storage turtles. Bunch of pizza tossers. Got movie Leo, Baxter, Genghis, Wingnut. Yep. Oh, there's some more. We've got up here. Movie turtles and Baxter. Uh, I still got some of those. I wonder which one this is. Turtles in disguise. Oh, I just made a mess. Oh, we made it. Never mind. Fossil art. They got that mega mutant thing down there, and they got the van. Always cool to see the van. That's on clearance at most Walmart. It's that little three pack there. Oh, here's a whole bunch of these, man. And we got a lot of turtles in disguise there. Oh, my two favorite ones is the only two they got. Who do we have here? We got Kingpin, Goliath, Kingpin, Miss Marvel, Agatha. We got Fury, some older Black Panther. I want to get the camera up here, but um, that was on sale for $17.99 on Hasbro Pulse. Thank you to my Instagram group for showing us that. I didn't know that. Wonder Man, Egghead, and Kang. So, yeah, got a good mix of new and older legends. I'll probably scan those if they come up with anything clearance because they have been clearancing in a lot of stores. X Men 97, The Figs, The Mask, The Glove. What we usually see in that. Oh, they do have a new multiverse. They got a platinum. Jim Gordon, there's Dark Knights of Steel, Blue Beetle, Dark Knights of Steel. There's a hush. And then Blue Beetle, and it's still a flash back there in the Batman costume. So, yeah, they do have the new ones. They just don't have the platinum. Him, I've got it. I mean, I don't really care to buy it, but I just want to see it. You know, it's cool to find platinums. I bet that's on clearance. There's Black Lightning. He's been showing for $5 I've seen on Facebook in some stores on clearance price. No superpowers, or no new superpowers yet. Uh, let's see. Got Batmobile. Who we got in these? I mean, they got a bunch of these. Frost King. Wonder Woman, Robin King. Donna Troy, that's Storm. Jonathan Stewart. Nothing too great in those. Had to let some folks get by me there. For Sorry for getting weird. Looks like older superpowers. I'm not going to dig them down. There's Blue Beetles. Is it one to bottom? Blue Beetle as well. Let's see if we can get on the side now. See who's back in here. Black Adam. I've heard that people were buying this Frost King wave at Ollie and Ross and they're returning it to Walmart because a lot of Walmarts are still selling it to full price, which is ridiculous, but you know, people do what they do, I guess. Um what we got here? We're gonna find what well, a Tuscan Warrior. I don't see any rare or chases there's ahsoka uh, chopper ezra it's pretty cool bunch of luke and grogu packs there there's some more of these things poe damron's x-wing yep no rares or sexies in there what we got here there's the new jericho Jay Cargo, ah, Bomb Brown Breaker, that's a cool looking figure. Still got Lionheart Chris Jericho back there. AJ. Oh man, they got a bunch of these Jerichos. Oh. Well, not a whole, whole lot, mostly Eddie Kingston. Still got three or four of the Jericho figures. Who we got there in Ultimates? It's Brock Lesnar and three of the Randy Orton. Orton's pretty cool to see. AEW Supreme Cody. No CM Punk. I uh, got Mankind, Papa Shango. 
Man can, man can. Brave Nights. With the Macho Man. Monkey Tonk Man. Typhoon. Warrior. So no variant had the track suit Hogan. What else we got here? Power Rangers, Flocked Moss Man. I just want to peek and see what these are. Probably Luke. Or oh, Chrysanthemum. Very cool figure right there. I found that one on clearance, even though I'm not a Motu guy. I may buy that. Got He Man. Petra, Zodak, Spikor, oh, Snake Man Infiltrator. Has I got Squeeze? Oh, there he is. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'm gonna get some pictures of those. May use that for the thumbnail. We're trying to hurry through this, guys, before the huge rush of children come down through here and prohibit my recording abilities. I'm not complaining about that. Kids got every rest of the toys. I just don't want to get in the way. Donkey Kong. That's a cool figure right there. Let's just get a pan shot of that. That'd be good for a thumbnail. And then our Pokemon. That's kind of cool. That Silver Temptus box. Huh? Nope. If I've seen it, I haven't noticed it before. All right, guys. Let's move on to some die cast and check it out. And then we'll hit collectors. And see if we can find a black and white. Black Ronin. Lego and Diecast. What do we got here? Ooh, we got a rollback on the Guardian ship. It's down 20 bucks. Uh, got any more rollbacks anywhere? Ant Man, there's a set Spider Man for 20 bucks. Well, I mean, I paid 25 for it, but still, I could have got $5 off. I'd have waited. And I haven't built that yet either. I haven't built Ant Man either. And no, I'm not going to return them for the price I paid. Actually, I don't have a receipt, so if I tried, they just give me that price for it. <laughs> $64 for the Dumbledore's office. I've seen that marked down at other places, but we are passing the diecast. What have we got here? Nothing we haven't seen before in those. I like the Deadly Intent. They got Barefoot. Barefoot looks cool, too. Oh, that Black Ranger back there. You can already tell. I don't want to dig it out. They'll knock everything off. But There's Barefoot. I remember seeing Barefoot back in the day. There's Bigfoot. I think I had that Bigfoot. I saw that somewhere the other day. I am about getting it. But pretty sure I've got it. Uh, this is kind of cool. The Quaker State. I should probably research chases on these while I'm standing here. So I don't grab one again like I did that Nissan... Fair lady. I realize not realize I have one in my hand. <laughs> I may check that one stop recording. Uh, what do we got here? We got Kindle, got the 76 bus. Got the same thing we always see in those. And let's just take a quick glance at the regular Hot Wheels. We'll head up here to the main front and see what they got. Got some of the Spider-Man themed cars. Not a whole, whole lot going on as far as regular Hot Wheels up here. I think now it's pretty cool. Toyota Land Cruiser. All right, guys. What is this one? Oh, I've seen that Thunder before. It's pretty cool. We're going to go check out some uh, collector section now. See if we can find what I hope to find when I came in here. We're going to go see if they do have the um, last Ronin figure. Notice I'm not mentioning the Scarlet Spider Pop any longer. We'll talk about that later. But for now, let's go to Collectors. Hello, YouTube. My name is Chris. You're watching The Man Collects, and we are wrapping up another great week of toy hunting, guys. Thank you all for joining me this week through the videos as we search and search and search for G.I. Joe Classified or Ross is the primary thing I'm trying to find, and The Man Collects is swinging, and he's missing. But that's all right, because we're going to keep searching. And one of these days, we're going to swing and hit. We're going to find us some bazookas, some vipers, all kinds of good stuff at Ross. I can feel it in me bones. We just got to keep looking. But let's talk about the stuff we did find, the places you did see me in this week. Um, went a lot of different places on this video. I actually went to more than you saw in the video. I didn't film everywhere I went. because I didn't film if I didn't see anything new and exciting to show you guys. But like I said, let's talk about the places that you did see me in, where we did see some interesting stuff. 
The first one was a Bristol, Tennessee Walmart. A hitting Walmart's hot and heavy right now, trying to find a Scarlet Spider across the Spider Verse pop that's exclusive to Walmart, and also that black and white last Ronin figure. Now, I called that the black and white black Ronin figure a couple of times in this video. I'm sorry, guys. I'm getting old. I have slips of the tongue. You have to overlook me, but black and white last Ronin NECA figure. We're trying to find that as Walmart exclusive. I uh, didn't see either one of them in the Bristol, Tennessee Walmart, but we did see some cool stuff in there. The new Mutant Mayhem Ninja Turtle figures. And that movie is just not, not my thing. I don't want to see the movie. Not interested in buying the figures. But we like finding new stuff here in the Man Collects. They did have some of the new figures in that toy line. They had Wingnut, Genghis Frog, and Mondo Gecko. It's cool to see that stuff there. Always fun to see new stuff, whether it's stuff I collect or not. I like seeing new stuff in the stores. It's part of the excitement of the toy hunting adventure. What else did we see there? They store has still got five McFarlane Nightfall Batman. I say this every video that I go to that store. I know I keep repeating myself, but I can't believe that figure is peg warming at that Walmart. I did scan it again. It was not on clearance. It's still full price, but still five of those things sitting there. I really thought that would be the one that McFarlane figure you would not be able to find on shelves. I thought that would fly off of there as soon as it hit the pegs, but I think the last, what, three, four times I've been there, they've had all five of those there on the pegs. If anybody in that area is looking for it, go to the Bristol, Tennessee Walmart. You'll find Nightfall Batman there. Unless he sold out since, see, I was in there on Tuesday. It's now Thursday. Unless he sold out in the last couple of days. Uh, next place we went, we went to Ross in Elizabethan. That was a new Ross. It just opened according to the signs on the building. So, man, Collect starts thinking... That's a new Ross store. They're probably going to put really good stock in that store to get people to come to the new location. And they may have. I just might have missed out on it. But the toy section was very big. They had a good selection of stuff. Um, didn't see a whole, whole lot of stuff that we're currently looking for there in Ross. They did have some different Marvel Legends. They had one of the three Jokers multiverse figures. Um, the coolest thing I did see in there was that Platinum Edition of Robin. I'll go ahead and tell you, I did buy that Platinum Robin, but it, I left it out in the truck. And I don't have it here to show it to you for the haul portion here. But if you go back and watch the video and see where I found that uh, Platinum Robin, I did buy that to put in the collection. I apologize not having it here to show it to you. And also went in the Elizabeth and Walmart. I think I put that in this video. If you didn't see it in the video, just skip over this part. But I didn't find anything sexy and exciting in Elizabeth and Walmart. But that's not a store I get to very much. So I didn't want to go in there and film to see what they had. A lot of older stock in that store, not a lot of newer stuff. And then the collector section, I don't even think I put that in the video. I didn't find anything back there really worth showing in collectors. Uh, where do we go next? A couple of Ollie's stores. Ollie's in Marion, Virginia. I've been through Marion, Virginia several times. And my first my current employer, we work a lot in that area. I had no idea there was an Ollie's there. You know, I was on my way up the interstate today and I got off the exit there at Marion to get something to eat past the Ollie's. Like, oh man, I had no idea. We got to stop and check that out. Uh, they did have some cool stuff there. Not as much in that store as we normally see in Ollie's. They didn't have the big, nice toy section up front. All the stuff stacked on the tables. They had everything back and in, in condensed into two toy aisles. But, you know, we did see some cool stuff. There the Hand Ninjas, Marvel Legends. We have seen those before, but not, not in a while. They've kind of dried up most of the other Ollie's. It was cool to see those. That's a really great figure if anybody doesn't have it. But again, not as much there as the others, but still cool to get and look around. Hey, it was a new store. We had two new stores in this video. We had the Ross in Elizabethan. We had the Ollie's there in Marion. It's always good to get to new places, whether we find something or not. Where else did we go? Ollie's in Bluefield. They had something there that really got me excited, thinking I was going to find something good. I found that case of Zorana figures, and I got excited, thinking, oh man, I bet Crimson Guard's back in here somewhere. We didn't find Crimson Guard, as you saw. We found boxes and boxes of Snake Eyes movie figs, and that one box is Zorana. And then I did not film back in the regular toy aisle, but there was a couple more loose Zoranas back there. But uh, again, no Crimson Guard, no Dusties. But hey, it is cool to see Zorana. I haven't seen any of that wave in Ollie's in quite a while, so it was cool to see at least one of them there at that store. That's a figure we don't see much. So it's always fun to see different stuff we don't always find. Where else did we go? Everybody went to Walmart in Bluefield. That was a hitter store for me back in the day when I used to travel through the Bluefield area a lot for work. Um, not a lot going on there today. They did have the new multiverse figures, the Dark Knights of Steel. They had the Black and Gray Hush. They had Jim Gordon as Batman. Regular, no platinum version, but a really good stock of stuff in that store, but not a whole lot of stuff we were currently looking for. Um, didn't film back in collector section. At least I don't think I did. They didn't have any of the stuff back there I was looking for either. They had the Super 7 Ultimates. If I did film, you saw that. 
they had Cobra Commander and the Bat there for that. I saw that actually about every Walmart I was in today had those uh, those Super 7s. So those are really hitting Walmart right now for anybody looking for them. And I know Trey's Toys on uh, Instagram, he had messaged me and let me know with a super, anybody looking for a Super 7s, he says they're cheaper on Amazon. I have not priced them. I don't know that, but that's one thing to check if you do want those things. Uh, according to Trey, they're cheaper on Amazon than they are in the Walmart stores. Okay, guys, that was it for what you saw in the video. I did go to some places off camera. I went in the Marion, Virginia Walmart today. They were doing some kind of work or something on their speaker system, and there was just a loud, kind of not, I don't know how to explain it, like a loud roar almost throughout the store. It would have it came through terrible on the video. I didn't want to do a lot of voiceovers tonight because it's already 11 o'clock. I'm trying to wrap this video up, but again, I didn't film in there. We didn't see anything sexy and exciting in the toy section. The only two things I saw in that store, I did find a Scarlet Spider pop there, and you know, just spoiler alert for the haul portion, <laughs> we picked that up. Um, also, they had that four-pack of the Batman animated stuff with Bullock, Batman, Harley, and Joker. I saw a clearance sticker on that thing, and I get to thinking, okay, that's been out for a while. I bet you that's marked down to like 40 bucks. It's $99.99 regular. It was marked down to $95.99, so $4 off of that, so we did not pick that up there. I was hoping to be a little bit cheaper. To me, that is not worth 100 bucks. but again, if I could have found it for 40 or 50 I'd have bought it all day long, but nah, no, not, not for 100 uh, where else did we go off camera? The Ross in Greenville, Tennessee. I actually went there last night. I have, I have not been in the Ross store today. This is the first day in forever I haven't been in the Ross store, but the area I travel to doesn't have a Ross store, so that's probably the only reason why. But I went to the one in Greenville last night, and as I was walking out, I saw the carded Star Wars Dark Trooper figures. I had never seen those that I can remember anyways at a Ross, but again, I wasn't going to film the whole store just for one thing like that we hadn't seen. I did pick that up so I can show it to you here in the hall if you don't know what I'm talking about. But again, we didn't film in that store. That was the only thing we saw different. All right, guys. With all that, we have wrapped up the hunt. What you did see, the stores I went in you didn't see. I hope you really enjoyed it. Again, it's been a really fun hunt week. I love getting out toy hunting, whether I find anything or not. It's just fun to get out and look around. It's really fun to share it with you guys. But let's get into the stuff that we did buy. The first the stores you saw me in, only one item for the stores you saw in the video. And it was the first store in the video, the Bristol, Tennessee Walmart. I did find these things in there. I don't remember if I filmed this section or not, but I did pick up this little MTV boombox. I think I showed this in the video as well i want to check this out and see how comparable it is to lego it's got down here it's compatible with popular brands so i'm guessing that means compatible with lego it looks like lego on the box but five bucks for a hundred pieces that's a lot cheaper than lego and this is by Brickcraft. i want to check this out i'll probably do a short or something on this on youtube i'll let you know what i think about this thing once i get that put out i'll probably build well no i'm taking kelly out of town this weekend for her birthday her birthday was Wednesday, November the 1st, by the way. Happy birthday, though. I love you. But again, I'll put this on there after I get back from being out of town with a lady for her birthday trip. All right, my two off-camera pickups. I've already spoiled them for you, but I'll show you the first one. This is probably my favorite pickup of the video, or the hunt. But uh, I did get the Scarlet Spider, the Walmart exclusive. Let's see if I can get some better light on him. There we go. This is one of my favorite characters in the 90s Spider-Man's comics, the Clone Saga that came right out with Ben Riley, where... It turned out they thought he was the real Spider-Man or whatever, but I love the Scarlet Spider character, the costume. There's a big Marvel Legend retro card Spider-Man figure coming of this as well pretty soon. I'll buy that when it comes out. Uh, again, I love the Scarlet Spider character, and that is an awesome looking pop. Uh, next thing, I actually the last thing for this video I picked up, we did get that retro carded Dark Trooper from The Mandalorian. Uh, again, not a big Star Wars guy. This thing looks cool. It's only, what, $6.99. I did pick this up. How much did this thing retail? This was $34 when it was in store. Was this thing $34? Bucks? Lord have mercy. But $7 for this. I'm going to pop him off card. He's going to go up here loose on the shelf. He'll give Brutus somebody to fight with, or maybe he can join the fight there with Doctor Strange and Vampire Lantern. Who knows? But you know, I don't like to keep stuff back here on the shelf like that to have a little decoration, so I thought I could add him to that. Uh, the other pickup I mentioned earlier, I did get that Platinum Robin, but again, it's out in the truck. I didn't bring it in here, so I can't show it to you, but it is in the video. You can see where I found it there at Ross. That's it, guys. That's the hunt. That's the haul. Now let's do some plugs. My next live stream appearance on YouTube will be Tuesday, November the 7th at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 6 p.m. Pacific Time for all you wonderful West Coast folks. I will be on T3 Collects Undisputed Livestream. He does a panel show there with Undisputed. 
and I'll be on there with Mr. T3 Collects. It'll be moderated by Millennium Workshop. You'll also have the guests of Yukon Phil, EC Collecting, who else is going to be on General Kenobi's Bunker, and JJ, uh, John Joker will be on there. Looking really forward to that. It's a great group of guys. Really looking forward to being on there with them. But check us out this coming Tuesday, November the 7th at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific Time on T3 Collects YouTube channel. Check us out on there. It's going to be a good time. Now let's plug the man collect stuff. The, the things that pay the bills around here, even though I do this for free because I love it, but still pays the bills around here. Instagram, follow me on there. I do post things on there I find that you may not see in these videos, but if you go to the about section on YouTube, the description of this video, you will find the link for my Instagram. I've also got it here in the bottom of the screen for you, which you can go and type in on the internet search browser or whatever and find me on Instagram. So find me on there and follow me. And last but not least, guys, we got to plug the YouTube channel, The Man Collects. If you are a first-time viewer to this content, you've come back two, three, seven, eight, five thousand times and have not yet clicked subscribe, consider clicking subscribe. I'm making you the deal of a lifetime. It's not going to cost you a dime to subscribe to The Man Collects and see what comes down the pipe here on the YouTube channel. With all that being said, guys, once again, I hope everyone's had a great week. Thank you for joining me here. I really appreciate everyone's support of the channel. And the man collects. We'll see you back here on Monday.